a day in the life of... Steven Gerrard! No, not Steven Gerrard. Zinedine Zidane. No, not Zinedine Zidane. The legend? No, not Didier Drogba. No, it's me! An AFC player. Why are you talking like that, Andrew? Just for the effect. What a tool. Anyway, like any typical AFC game, we start at the beginning. Pesimo. 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 Paul always starts the day off kissing his badge and knowing where his kit is. Oh, it's where's my gloves? Great shinies. Safe in the knowledge there will always be a bit of my heart devoted to it. Oh, rich boots. Rich will never change on an AFC day. So after the morning ritual, Paul makes sure he's got everything in his bag and he's wearing his AFC Stockport jacket because he doesn't want to get any fines. Paul sets off for his long day ahead. He throws his stuff in the car. And the best way for Paul to relax on his long trip is listening to his favourite tune. Don't hold it back anymore. Let it go. Shoot. Let it go. Turn away and slam the door. There's always a need for a gap on purpose. Paul arrives at the ground, and after the team warm up, he listens to the inspirational words from his manager. Okay, guys, one more to inspire the team, the she talks while jiggling her boots. Everybody in there working hard. Everybody needs to be up for this what game. What is she on right? about? She should have a clue what she's doing. Why is she moving her arms like she's on a rave? Disco, 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 disco. Big fish, little fish, carbo box. Big fish, little fish, carbo box. Yeah! After playing his game, which Paul usually loses, he then ventures out as far as Chester, Warrington, even Liverpool to help assist with the ladies team. When arriving at the venue, Paul becomes the team donkey, asked to carry everything from the boot of his car to the pitch. So I am Frizz, don't worry, I'll get this, as per usual, I look like a bad game of buckaroo. Once at the pitch, Paul sets up the pre-match warm-up so his ladies are ready for action. His main concern is the overreaction of his players when Jess Lloydall makes an inch perfect pass. After a busy day with the guys and the girls, Paul then travels back home to Stockport where him and his fellow players enjoy a drink and some food at one of their sponsors, the Royal Oak. Absolutely gagging for this. Better be a pint. Better be a full one. This is going down in one. Cheers for the half measures, mate. Ooh, and you got soft hands. 
but he smiles at me as I walk away. After drinks and food, Paul tells his beautiful partner Rachel he's still in Liverpool. Instead, he goes and plays football with the club mascot, Toby. Paul plays his heart out, competitive, wanting to win everything you want from a manager. However, after 35 seconds play, he's knackered. Almost 12 hours after Paul woke, he sets off home. It's been a hard day's night, and I've been working like a dog. It's been a when at home, he has a big fill up at tea, a shower, and then time for bed. Well, that's a typical AFC day. How can we top this? My mind's telling me no. Not again. But my body, my body's telling me yes, baby, I don't want to hurt nobody, but there is something that I must confess.